Welcome in to LL Basketball Update Show. He is Jeff Reinhardt. I'm John Walk. Jeff, the regular season is officially behind us. Wow. We are on to the playoffs, starting yes. with league playoffs later this week. Yep. We'll start in girls basketball. What's going on there? Girls hoops. Here we go, John. Three things. All right, two quick milestones and then a playoff preview. Uh, we're at Efforta, by the way. Thank you for hosting Mounts. Yep. Efforta girls practice behind us. They have a big playoff game coming up on Saturday. Okay, two quick milestones. Caroline Horst, senior, Pequway Valley, 1,000-point club. I have to look. Pequway Valley doesn't have too many 1,000-point scorers. I think she's only the fourth or fifth kid ever. There's only ever. four boys who have done it. Yeah, it's only three or four girls, too. So Horst in uh, some really good company down in Kinzers. Uh, you'll see the play here, a little layup. They beat Country Day, big win for Pequway Valley. They're going to the playoffs. Caroline Horst, 1,000 points. Two, two Northern Lebanon quick notes. Uh, Tuesday night, Northern Lebanon clinches second place in section four. Zara Zerman dropped 40. Wow. Wow, 40 Is against that a Donegal. High of girls? Uh, that's her career high. That's the most points scored in a girls game this season. Okay. There were a couple of 35s, but Zerman dropped 40 and in the process became the school's all time leading scorer. 1,500 points on the dot. Wow. It's a big number. Also that night, Northern Lebanon coach Ken Battistelli, gray beard of the league. He's been around 13, 12, 13 years uh, in Fredericksburg. 200th career win for Coach Battistelli. Okay, as John mentioned, playoffs. Here we go. Play-in round for girls is Thursday night at Garden Spot. Double dip, uh, 5.30, Pequay Valley against Mannheim Central. 7.30 night cap, Northern Lebanon against Warwick. Winners advance to play on Saturday. In the quarterfinal round, Let's mention Ephrata since we're here. Mounts play at Lancaster Country Day on Saturday. Cougars were 18 and 0, and they lost on Tuesday. Wow! Took them 18 games to finally get tripped now up. It's off their back. It's off their back. Uh, but Country Day still wins Section Five. Ephrata right here behind us. Section Two champs. Mounts first time they won a section since 2016. So they will play at Country Day. Big game on Saturday at high noon. Noon tip, Saturday, Effort at Country Day. Okay, to chat about that game, we caught up with a couple of seniors. Gabby Girola Hill, who is 30 points shy of 1,000. Hmm. And Jocelyn Umana. We chatted with them about uh, Effort's really good season, section champs, and uh, got a little preview about uh, Mounts versus Lancaster Country Day coming up on Saturday. So let's throw it to those interviews. You guys won your first section championship since 2016. Uh, talk about winning section two, what that meant to you, and how much hard work you had to put in to win the banner. Well, we knew going into the season, like that was one of our big goals. Like we want to win the section. We know we're up for it this year. We made our first postseason run, I feel like in a while last year, well, like, like you said, 2016. So we knew it was going to be a lot of hard work and those big like Warwick games, E-Town games. So once we got them first round, we were like, all right, like going into the second round is a whole different game. It's like a whole new team. They know what we do. They, um, we know what they do. So we were just excited. We went into each game just thinking solely about that game. As a team, we're just doing a lot better communicating. And our defense has definitely gotten a lot stronger than last year and a couple years before that. And we've just been working a lot harder in practice. OK, playoffs. We flipped the switch, and now it's playoffs, and you're in, and you're in a bracket and you're gonna see Country Day on Saturday. That's not a team that you see every day and you gotta go play in their small gym. Uh, talk about Saturday, things you gotta get done against a really good Country Day team. Um, well, we haven't, they sent the film out to us. I haven't personally looked at it myself, but we'll start talking about it. We know they have 2,000 point scorers and going from a different like gym setting because it is smaller, look, we know it's gonna be louder. So we're ready to go in and just take it quarter by quarter, play by play. And we're excited for it. I think we'll do pretty good going in because in our games we go in strong and we finish out strong. And this year I think we can go a lot farther than last year because I know last year we got into one game and then we lost it. And then this year it's just very different, different atmosphere. Okay, thank you Gabby and Jocelyn for those interviews. Thanks again for Ephrata for having us. Mm -hmm. Mounts Lancaster Country Day on Saturday. LL Girls play in games on Thursday night at Garden Spots. See you there. Okay, that's it for LL Girls Hoops. Let's talk LL Boys Hoops. John, what do you got? All right, I'm going to talk a couple milestones from Tuesday's games. There were three players who went over 30 points, starting with Lampeter Strasburg senior guard Seth Beers dropped a career high 47 points. What? It's the most points scored by a Boys Hoopster so far this season. Wow. And also, uh, 
Lancaster Manor Junior Guard Cole Fisher, career high 36 points. Wow. Fisher and Beers, multiple 30 point games. There are two of only three players with multiple 30 plus point games so far this season. Nice. Finally, Columbia Senior Guard forward Matt McCleary dropped a season high 31 points, one shy of his career high 32 that he had last year. Nice. With that, Matt becomes a thir the 13th player to score 30 or more in a game so far this season. That's All right, good. second point Friday's playing games for boys basketball, both at Warwick. First one up. 5.30 p.m. start, Section 4 runner-up Elko against Section 2 runner-up E-Town, oh. and then the nightcap is Section 3 runner-up Cocalico against Section 5 runner-up Lancaster Mennonite. We'll be covering that one. And then, Good. moving on to Monday's quarterfinal game, Cedarcrest will play the winner of Cocalico against Lancaster Mennonite. Mm -hmm. um, LS, Lampeter Strasburg will host the winner of E-Town and Elko. That's in the top half of the bracket. And in the bottom half of the bracket, Section 2 champ Warwick against Section 5 champ Columbia. Mm -hmm. And the game I'll be covering, Section 4 champion Lancaster Catholic will be hosting Section 1 runner-up McCaskey, wow. which should be awesome. It was packed on Tuesday night oh. against Elko. And, uh, McCaskey's a lot closer to Catholic yeah. than, than Elko is, that so be I'm awesome. sure that gym's going to be packed and it was nice and toasty and I'm sure it will be again oh, on Monday. Get so, your tickets now, seriously. Man. Yeah, for wow. all of the upcoming playoff coverage, feel free to follow along on the basketball page on Lancaster Online. Jeff and I will have you covered um, throughout the week, leagues, districts, states, what have you. Here we all go. right, thanks for effort for having yes, us out. For you. Jeff Reinhardt, I'm John Walk. We'll catch you next week.